Hello, hello. So, um, it, it's time for me to do another timed sketch. I haven't been sketching much lately um, and I apologize that some um, trying to show you this reference image and I have a skylight above me which is like corrugated plastic and so I'm getting this weird reflection today. So I'll just kind of hold it like this. Maybe, yeah, once I start drawing I can pop it up there, I think. Okay, so, um, I've just been inspired by the amazing Emily Powell, who is a UK artist that I've been following for some time now. And her work is just so playful and free and childlike, but also um, really uninhibited and um, confident and bold. And there's just so much about it that I love. If you haven't looked up Emily yet, um, you can find her on Instagram at Emily Powell Studio. So it's P-O-W-E-L-L -L Studio. Um, and I just, she has a number of online workshops that she, um, she does them as Zooms to begin with. And then you can purchase the, um, the recorded uh, Zoom session. So I've just been watching one called Boats. And boats are such, a gorgeous thing to draw and paint. There's just so much character about, especially fishing boats, right? Um, and I've had this photo for uh, more than, no, actually, let me see what the date was. 9th of April last year, we went down to visit Sienna for her birthday in Melbourne. That's Cece, for those of you who follow me and know my daughter by that name, and Cece works for me full time and um, pretty much keeps me going with this business. <laughs> she's she's a really good organizer, which I am not, so we work perfectly together. Uh, so anyway, we went down to visit Cece and on the way back from Melbourne, we stopped a couple of nights along the way because otherwise it's an 11 hour drive along the coast. And we were in a little town, uh, Lakes Entrance, and these two gorgeous boats in the, the uh, teal or the turquoise and the red uh, were just out in front and we just about, um, well, we actually, we walked over that bridge over there, got to the beach and it started pouring down rain on us. So I'm really glad I got this photo before the rain started. Um, anyway, Emily in her little workshop um, just took us through some really freeing up exercises so that you don't get all caught up in all of the details of these boats. So look, I'm gonna give it a go and share it with you guys. Um, so I am channeling my inner Emily Powell and we shall see how we go. Um, she often exaggerates uh, things. So she might have the boat really big and then the, this little part here, very small. Uh, if she makes it too big on the page, then her, um, all of these, um, oh God, what do you call them? <laughs> oh, whatever they are, the things that hold the sails up. <laughs> you can tell I'm not a boat person. Um, if you if she can't fit them in she'll have them going you know kind of squished down and things like that so she has a lot of fun with it so i'm going to attempt to just have fun with it and not worry about what it looks like and in doing so i'm also going to try out masks that's what they're called they're masks <laughs> i hate it when you're on camera and um and this is not going to be edited uh well, actually, maybe it will be. Maybe Susie will edit it for me. But if not, we'll keep that moment in. Um, because sometimes you're on camera and you just can't remember what a thing is called. And that's what happened then. So, what I wanted to do was try out this new brown paper sketchbook that I bought online. Uh, it's an Artway little sketchbook. They came in a set of six. But there's not that many pages in there. I'm not sure how many pages, but it looks about maybe 15 or 20 or so. But anyway, it was a pack of six of them and so I'm gonna give them a go. And <clears throat> I also have, I just wanted to bring out a few materials. I've got some of my Sennelier oil pastels, which I bought um, as a gift to myself some months ago and I still really haven't played with them very much. Um, just a word of caution, don't travel with these. I took some of them, just a few colors to Vietnam and in the heat, um, they were in a little plastic bag and they just virtually started to crumble and melt into each other and they're very expensive so you don't want that to happen. Um, so I've got some of those out here. <clears throat> they will be my studio oil pastels. And then I've got some um, brush pen, Ecoline brush pens and I've just picked the colors that are, that are in here. Um, and then I've got a, 
just a variety of white um, Posca pens and gel markers for, for these, um, all the, the bits and pieces. Um, so, I, as I said, I'm going to channel my inner Emily Powell and I'm going to just go for it and um, start with the basic shapes. Um, I might do, hmm, I think I might do a boat on each page. I'm not sure yet. Let's see, let's see how we go. Um, so I'm just gonna pop the image up here. Bring this down a little bit so you can still see the boats. And start with this one. Okay. And so I'm just gonna come right into it with a bright, actually no, what I might do first is pick up one of these Ecoline brush pens and I'm going to just I have not worked on this paper before, so this is all going to be very interesting. I uh, just want to get just some basic lines in and just till I feel comfortable. Um, I want to work fast. I don't want to get caught up in detail. I'm, I'm not trying to get every single aspect of everything in here. Um, working fast, but also getting a kind of a facsimile of what's going on is kind of tricky. But I think, I think I'll get the hang of it. Just drawing what I see, trying not to worry about drawing everything, but it's kind of like if you see something that's connected to something, then pop it in. And if you see something on that something, <laughs> pop that in. <laughs> so we'll try not to actually even give them names because what happens when we give things names, let's make that a little bit further out there, is our left brain wants to try and label everything, understand everything, and our left brain is also going to tell us, you are crap and you can't draw this thing. Um, so if we just call them things and shapes, and there's this shape that leads to this shape, etc., etc., then we will have an easier time of it. And then behind this shape, there is uh, this shape. Actually, this is probably going to go down further. And this is probably going to come out here further. So if my little cabin or whatever this is called doesn't quite fit where it's supposed to, that's okay. And I can feel myself getting caught up in details. So I'm going to just try and stop that. And I'm going to just try and miss out on some things. I want this one here, this mast, to be quite tall. So I'm going to go over into the other page. And this one can also go into the other page. And this one's going to go up here. And it has a rectangle on top. I'm not going to do all the little lines yet. Um, this one's probably going to go a little bit taller as well. So I can make those differences, make those changes. All right. Okay, now I'm going to come straight in with, let's just change things up here. <clears throat> I kind of want you to see the image as well. So if we pop it over here, and we can still see what's going on. I was going to time myself, wasn't I? 
Okay, let's just say we'll give ourselves another. Um, can you give myself? And I was going to give myself 20 minutes to do the whole thing, so I think I've probably been at it for maybe five, maybe a little bit longer. So let's give my, let's go, give myself another 15 minutes, that's it. All right, so what I'm going to do now is grab this light Sennelier oil pastel, and it's kind of a... I don't think they have the colors on them. Yes, that one does. Okay, so that's a French ultramarine. I do not see the color on this one. Okay, it's some kind of green something or other, but I think it, the color has actually come off. Not to worry, you know what we're looking for. So, just gonna get that in. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at that against the, against the uh, brown paper. Wow. I'm gonna leave a little bit showing for the underneath. And then on this side, I'm gonna come around here, but I'm gonna go a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna take the blue and come down at the bottom with the blue. Going to keep a little bit of those that uh, those drawn lines underneath because they are the the um, composition the structure. And then I'm going to come up here, come in here with this darker line. Okay. Now in a few other places, I also see a little blue. So I'm going to come in and add some blue in, little shapes to a few other areas. This is a uh, like a gray, a really light gray. And I'll probably use that in a few different places. So just looking at, there's another circle here. I'm gonna come into these masks first with the gray. So I have like a sage green. Starting to see some of those darks. Okay. There should be a white in here and I'm not sure where the white has gone. Um, I've probably had it out at some point and not put it back away. So I'm just going to grab a, a, another white oil pastel, different brand, probably a cheapy brand, and start to bring in to the windows first. So how does this feel to work in the style of somebody else? <laughs> it feels weird. It feels like, I guess it, I do tend to work loose anyway, so it doesn't feel completely alien. Um, but I am working a little faster than what I normally would work. And that feels interesting. And I'm not so worried about uh, details as well. Just 
what I'm thinking about now is when do I do the white? Because <laughs> what's in front of what? Maybe I should have done the white first. But let's just get some of the white in now. Oh, and that, yeah, that's supposed to be... Okay, that's interesting. This is actually going to be the pole. So let's just make that blue. Just because I like that colour. And then we can do the white around it. I think it's a battle against myself to not do the details because I see the big shapes, but then I also see, oh, there's a little thing there. Maybe I add that little thing in. So I think that um, one thing I struggle with, especially well, painting and sketching, is it's really tricky not to, or to figure out what you're going to keep and what you're not going to keep and, and how to make the thing recognizable if you don't keep everything. Does, does that make sense? Um, and, and also I think maybe I need to keep some of the, um, the paper as well because the paper is super interesting. All right, so that's pretty cool. Now I want to give a little white line along the bottom of the boat because I see that in the drawing. It's not really white, it's kind of rusty, almost kind of yellow. So I wonder if the addition of some yellow would be helpful. Why not? So let's just bring some yellow in along here. And maybe even a little rust. Again, without, without worrying too much about detail. So, okay. I like that color though, it kind of warms things up. So I think I might use that in some of the line work. Just looking at shapes. <clears throat> I do like what that color brings to the piece. Also because it's kind of an opposite color to this teal as well. It's quite lovely. Okay, there's a circle up here. White through here. Just make this up, it looks a little better with a the roof on it. Make that there. I think the whole thing is a bit short, so I haven't really got that, but that's okay. Um, and then the other side, let's do. Oops. And then I just like the addition of this, these little fence back here, the little pier that has the red, because we're going to have the red up here in the other boat. I think that might be a longer drawing. Um, like if I do the other boat, it's going to be more than 20 minutes, but I think I have to. And these are just so yummy to work with. I'm not sure if I'm going to put any water in yet. Um, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. I 
like that's maybe enough. Um, but I do need like just a little bit more line work. So I'm going to try for the white gel pen to add in a few more lines where I see them and then just see if there's enough contrast. So we have another line coming down here. There's another one down here. We've got one over here. Be careful not to stick your um, gel pen into the oil pastel or it will not work. Um, that's kind of connected to something down here. We'll make them a little bit wonky on purpose. Emily style. I hope I'm doing this justice, Emily, if you're watching. Okay, let's make these over here. So you don't have to stay true to the colors. You can change things up if you feel like you need a bit of extra contrast. And just seeing if there's any other kind of important thing for me to put in. All right, now I'm just going to add a little bit more contrast um, to a couple of areas. So I'm going to, this is just confusing me a little bit. I'm going to pull this brown into this column. I'm going to make the windows darker. And I can only see that window. And you like that one there that one there just seeing what the darkest darks are there yeah Okay, that's pretty fun. All right, so maybe a little bit here. And then the one thing that I don't have in yet is this little railing. And I think the railing is important. Um, I'm going to give it a go with this. This won't give me really what I need as in terms of like how fine it is, but I think it will do the trick. Gonna miss this thing altogether. I don't even know what that is, but it's not gonna be on here. <laughs> so that's the beauty about artistic license. You can put it on if you want, and if you don't want it, you can leave it off. Now there's something here where I think it has like blue towels over it or something and I think I'll put those in because that will be a nice addition of a little bit of extra blue. 
and still not sure if I should do any water, but I think I'm gonna leave it floating. That looks pretty cool, that's fun. All right, so red boat, red fishing boat. Uh, notice I didn't give it a name, right? Or didn't put this on here because I kind of didn't have space to. Um, I wonder if it would matter if I put the, put it over here. Let's see. Or maybe, maybe, maybe we just see the B and the J in mind. Maybe the other thing is behind there. All right, which is, that's pretty cool because we live in JB, we live in Jervis Bay. All right, so now let's go up to the top page. Oh, come on. And let's get this one in here, somewhere up here. Okay, so, okay, shall I do a drawing with this one? I guess I should keep it consistent. Um, so that was our 20 minutes on that one. Let's try and do this one in a little bit less time. Um, and which, I've already forgotten how I used that one. So, hmm, let's use an orange one for the top boat. But let's make it a little bit smaller. You could even just try working with your non-dominant hand if you wanted to. Okay, this one I'm just going to keep it super simple. So this one has like a rectangle, it comes up here, like that. Actually, it's probably even longer than that, it's about that. And then it has another roof that's a little bit higher. Goes out like that. And that, and that maybe. Doesn't matter if you don't get your angles right, because these are just fun and funky. There's another little thing on top there, and then all of the bits and pieces. So, this one has the mast is going to go off the page. Some things are going to be exaggerated. There is a round thing here. And this one's got some fun little wool buoys on the back. I think that now that I've done this one, I feel a little um, more at ease with this next one. So here's the thing, you know, like the more you practice, the better you get, the more comfortable you get. All right, that's, um, so here, one, two, three, four, five. If you can't fit five windows in, that's fine as well. We can't fit a door in, so that's not going to have a door. Uh, it's going to have a little words across there. Okay, I might make him just a little bit. Okay, so let's grab the red. Um, I've got two reds. I've got like a, well, this one's more pink. It's a geranium lake light. This one I can actually see the colors and that's a permanent intense red. So the lighter one I'm going to throw on the back. Oh, these are so beautiful against the brown paper. I was trying them out the other day also on some, um, some black paper and they're absolutely gorgeous on the black paper too. Okay. Bit of grey on this one. 
Actually, I'm going to do the gray green because that's a beautiful complement to the to the pink and the red. The reason I didn't do a red outline on this one is because I don't have red. Oh, that was supposed to stop. I'm supposed to stop at that there. So then this one is going to go up here. And then it has a name, so we'll just put a little bit of white here and then we'll go around it. I don't know how successful that was, but anyway, it's done. It's really fun to just feel like you're coloring in and that you don't have to worry about the lines. It's just free and loose and playful. Let's get some roots in here. There. Get the white in now. Hmm. White's got a little bit of blue in it, that's okay. And a little bit of red in it as well. <laughs> I'm getting all the tones. Good thing they are the right tones. That's there. And then let's do the gray. Over here on the shady side. Let's bring a little bit of the blue, even though we can't see the blue. Let's make these work together. Bring a little bit of the blue into this boat as well. And we'll bring a door in, even though we didn't really have room for a door. Some darks in for contrast. Remember to leave a little bit of the drawing underneath. And that will bring a sense of cohesion to the to the drawing as well. Uh, this is supposed to be white up here. I got a bit confused, so now this has two of those. <laughs> and then...
All right, now let's just come out a bit further. I'm really feeling like I'm starting to loosen up now. Just noticing little details where I see them. I am trying not to get my hands on top of the other drawings because um, obviously it's pretty easy to smudge things with oil pastel. So just making little decisions about what to put where. what to leave out all right this one has like a gray uh, railing so let's have a go at bringing that in and it's actually a higher railing here maybe I need a, a darker gray so let's bring in a slightly darker gray with this one Some grey above the boat here and here. I could also just try this with a drawn line. Some red there. Um, so let's let's just see what would happen if I just brought in a pencil. that on top of the pastel. Okay, that's nice. Uh, and then that ends there. And then you've got this here. Now I feel like adding a bit of drawn line in. On there. And there. A little ladder coming over here. And any other details you want it to add in, I think would be really fun, just with a pencil line. which means I probably want to come back down here and add some pencil line in as well. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to this one. I just really like just that tiny little extra sense of detail that it brings.
grab my white gel pen, come back up here, just so that I have a little bit of cohesion between both. Um, so I've got some white down here, so let's add some white on up here as well. If I wanted to bring in a little bit um, of a more defined um, name on that one, what could I do? What could I do? Or even like this rope, anything like that. Um, let's just have a think for a moment. Okay, I think that's enough of the white. I'm just wondering if the Posca pens would give me more of an opportunity to... Yeah, that's probably good. Much better. And again, I could strengthen up any of the other lines with these poster pens if I wanted as well. But I think for now, having given myself that little time limit, I think that I'm really happy with how they've turned out. And I think that I'm going to just call it a day for these sketches. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I enjoyed it and I want to do more. Um, so I'm just going to write on here uh, from Emily. Now my gel pen has a bit of, has a bit of oil pastel in it. Emily Powell Oats Workshop Inspo. And the date today is the 5th of March, 2024. Okay, go, be free, be loose, be playful. Make things up, leave things out. Leave the uh, things have to be just so behind and see what comes. All right. Bye for now, everyone.